Today we're doing a direct comparison of Riverside FM versus Descript. And I'm actually going to be jumping in both of these tools to give you the different features of what each of them have. And if at any point during the video, you can check out these tools using my affiliate links in the description. So let's first start with Descript. This is what the dashboard looks like. You just click on new dashboard and you upload a video. So Descript mainly got popular from its AI video editing. But once people started using it, they just kept adding feature after feature after feature. So one of the biggest features within Descript is actually known as transcription video editing. So you upload your video here in the dashboard and what you can actually do is just highlight the text within your video and hit the delete button and it automatically edits the video for you. So instead of sitting in a video editor, putting splits wherever you need them and spending hours, you can edit your videos based on the words that are said in them. But like I said, they just kept adding more and more features. You can remove retakes, shorten word gaps, add chapters, fix your eye contact. They're also famous for that. You can generate clips like reels. You can do green screen videos. So like I was saying, Descript is actually known as mainly a video editor that uses AI to do all kinds of crazy features, save you time, fix errors, give your videos studio-like audio. Then we have Riverside. So Riverside is kind of different. So Riverside is known for recording high quality interview videos. And a lot of times these are used in podcasting videos. This is what the dashboard looks like. All you do is get in here, turn on your webcam here, copy this link and send it to whoever you want to interview. And what they're famous for is the ability to record 4K interviews remotely. I repeat that, you can record 4K interviews using Riverside. So if you're doing a podcast, this is probably your tool. This is mainly what Riverside is known for. So they've recently added a new video editor and it's somewhat similar to Descript's. You can do the transcription video editing where you can highlight the words and just delete them and it removes it from the video. You can add music, captions, brandability stuff. So yes, there is a video editor within Riverside, but I will say it's nothing like Descript. If you're looking for a tool for video editing, Descript wins for this. But if you're looking to record high quality interviews, Riverside has this done. And both of these tools have AI features like AI voiceovers and such like that, but it feels like every tool is doing this now. I hate AI voiceovers. Like, I'm just going to say it. Who's using these? I don't know. Hit me up in the comments. Are you using AI voiceovers? It's just crazy to me how many tools are doing this. But as of recently, Descript is actually trying to compete with Riverside, and you can actually do recordings. So this is the same thing that Riverside has, except Descript is now doing it as well. This looks extremely similar to Riverside. This is what this looks like, and this is what Riverside looks like. They look very, very similar. So that being said, both of these tools, Descript versus Riverside FM, are extremely similar. Descript is a better video editing tool, but Riverside FM is better at recording high quality videos, like podcasts, interview style videos. But that being said, Descript just added a new feature. So if you want my honest opinion, I'm gonna go with Descript on this because they have adapted and added fe new features like crazy, and plus you get all the crazy video editing features with it. Me personally, I use Descript almost daily. I have 10 YouTube channels, I'm constantly fixing audio issues, and Descript, you know, it corrects my eye contact problems. Again guys, if you're considering checking out these tools, please use my affiliate links in the description from one creator to another. I'm rooting for you guys, and hit me up in the comments. What type of content are you guys creating? Are you starting a podcast? Are you doing video editing? I would love to hear from you. Oh, and please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.